It's a very romanticized profession or craft. But it's a lot of hot, hard, frustrating, failure-filled work. Something breaks, you just, you know, put another piece in the fire and get right back on it. My name is Jason Blanchett and we're at Historic Rosedale. It's a historic property in the uh, north side of Charlotte. I love metal and I, I loved welding and I still do. The blacksmithing is different, is different from those things. Initially I thought it was pretty silly. Like why would you, with all this technology we have, we have CNC and all this stuff, why would you do this? Like why would you hammer something? We have, you know, five axes, all these machines and stuff. Like why would you do that? There's so much that you can't learn from any book anywhere that you have to learn from humans. And so, and from people who have dedicated their lives to just shaping things out of metal. Um, which is tough, it's very hard. The welding and blacksmithing are both applied sciences. You, you can know everything, you can know all the history of metallurgy, like I can know, I can have somebody teach me to forge weld a thousand times, but until I can apply it myself, which I don't apply very well right now to give myself a lot of benefit, um, I still had to go back there and practice again and again and again. A smithy is what you call this, this building where you blacksmith at. But usually you have somebody else in the smithy with you. There's a kind of a dance where you're both uh, paying every second of attention to the work and also paying attention to everything. A commercial and production blacksmithing, in the shops that I've been in, we use, we've used propane uh, forges. Coal gets a lot hotter, a lot faster. You're always uh, manipulating the firebox, you're um, incorporating new coal, you're taking out uh, the clinkers and, and the used pieces out, and you're uh, kind of uh, uh, massaging how much of this, the, this heat you're gonna use and then isolating it in your workpiece. It's a lot harder. Uh, the heat and everything works a lot faster and, and you really have to stay on top of it more, I think. There's a lot of nonverbal cues that we use. I was going like this, and that, you know, that for a second that looks like, oh, I don't know, maybe it's like fist bumping, but I'm telling Luke, to, to get on the bellows, I need more juice, I need more air. And he knows that I'm waiting for this critical moment. And then once that thing gets out the fire, then there's your dance. And the goal is to make this thing. And that's it. It connects you to a time that's not here anymore. At, like where you go to a blacksmith for hinges, you go to blacksmith for a hammer, you go to blacksmith for a nail, you go to, you know, all this stuff, locks and things of that nature. You couldn't lock anything, you couldn't lock anything without getting somebody to make you a lock. Now, blacksmithing is more um, for the decorative elements and stuff like that, for architectural ironwork and things of that nature. I'm charged every day to know exactly what I'm making, to have it down to the detail, the 16th or the 64th or the 32nd or, um, the finish quality or the anchoring necessities for something. I, I'm kind of ruled by a lot of numbers and stuff. So here, um, my, the kind of how I go about this is, is a very free flowing personal expression kind of deal where I try to um, communicate the techniques and stuff that are used and, and what I'm doing in general, and, and, but then just to let it be free, more, more free than what I get to express in, in my day to day fabrication and, and building. You have shows and stuff on TV that give you this very sensational uh, view of it, but um, a lot of it is are, are things like today. You know, I wanted to make the spoon today, and that means I had to forge weld. I'm not good at forge welding, so I've got to try and do this. And, and so my initial plan for the day changed, and we ended up making something different. It's like that, it's like just kind of following that ebb and flow throughout the whole fabrication process is where your powerfulness comes from.